Hey, this is Winter. I just want to do a quick little video about half of my perfume collection. The other half is already boxed up as I'm moving at the moment. So I'm just going to do a quick little review of each perfume and maybe make some sounds with the bottles. Um, I'll start with this one. This is Britney Spears Curious. I've had this for so many years. This is one of the perfumes I first bought and you can see I haven't used very much of it at all. I think I first smelt it on somebody else and then decided I didn't like it after I bought it. So it has this cute little gem lid and these little charms. It kind of has more of a squirt than a spray. Let's see, what does it smell like? It's um really sort of sweet and light. It's definitely for the day, maybe for the spring or the summer. Probably more spring, it is a little bit cooling. Let's see, it's um white flowers surrounded with vanilla musk. It opens with fresh lotus, mouth-watering pear, and magnolia. The heart is composed of tuberose, jasmine, and pink cyclamen, and the base is composed of musk, vanilla, and precious woods. So it is a really light to start with, and then it develops down into a slightly more musky scent. And it's really lovely. It does suit somebody young, I think. It seems a bit playful at the beginning. Let's see what's next. Next, I'm going to have a look at this one. This one, my boyfriend bought me for Christmas last year because I decided that I loved it. And I do buy a lot of perfume just by the bottle because I just I love the bottle and this one is crazy you can see the lid is the size of the bottle so it looks like a little ladybug this little flower for the lid and then they have this red glass with black spots and a little gold Dot by Marc Jacobs label. There's some more little ladybugs on the side. And I love this scent so much. It's maybe my second favourite of my perfumes. The top notes are red berries and dragon fruit. Then we have honeysuckle, jasmine, orange blossom. And the base is coconut water, vanilla, driftwood, and sensual musk. And the bottle is so beautiful. And this one is also sort of a summery, light, daytime scent. It's so beautiful and feminine. This kind of scent is really what I love in a perfume. Next, I'll have a look at this one. This is Daisy by Marc Jacobs. And I bought this in Beijing from a department store near my apartment. And I bought it because I didn't take any perfumes with me to China. And I really missed wearing them. So we have this lid, nice soft plastic flowers, little gold embellishments in the center and just a gold colored fluid on the inside of the glass bottle now this one really just does remind me of my stay in China now <laughs> I was quite sick when I was in Beijing and this said really cheered me up let's have a look um, 
has fruity strawberry notes, green aroma of violet leaf, and spicy pink grapefruit. Then we have gardenia, violet, and jasmine petals. And then it settles down into a powdery, soft smell of white woods, vanilla, and musk. And this one is another spring day scent. You can tell I really like the light flowers. I don't really have many that are suitable for nightwear or winter wear or anything. I just kind of go with like the light floral scents year round. Now the next one I need to look at is this one. This is Versace Bright Crystal. And I bought this because uh, Gentle Whisperings video, the Sassy Berea video, she seemed to love it. So I really wanted to try it because the way she described it did seem like something that I would really like. And it's not something that I would wear every day, but I do really love it. It kind of starts out so beautiful and then mellows down into something that it doesn't, you don't stink like the perfume all day. It mellows into your skin and it's just something that just makes you smell better. It doesn't really offend the people around you so much. So we have this gorgeous vanilla crystal lid. And then like this pink fluid inside the bottle. And it's another sort of spring summer day scent. Which seems to be the theme of the video. It has top notes of pomegranate, yuzu, and frosted accord, peony and magnolia are in the center, and the base is, oh sorry, I've missed something. There's also watery fresh lotus, and then the base has amber notes from plants, musk, and redwoods. So you can see it does start out quite fresh and fruity and floral at the beginning and then it settles into your skin with a really nice light musk. It's not cloying, it's not over the top. Um, the next one is this one. I bought this on a holiday and I hate it. I smelled it in the store and I fell in love with it and I bought it, I tried it on and I can't stand it. I've never used it again since. It's still full. I can't even give this away to other people. They just don't want it. I'm sure there are people out there that do like this. But this really just doesn't sit well on me. I do love the little gemstones on the bottle though. This is another Britney Spears fragrance. Uh, oh yeah, I really don't like how that smells. This is Hidden Fantasy. That's... Sweet orange, tangerine, grapefruit blossom, verbena, clove, cake, stargazer lily, jasmine, vanilla bean, jacaranda wood, sandalwood, and amber. So I can't really describe this one very well. I haven't worn it enough to notice anything about it. I just really... I don't mind the scent of it itself, but the way it settles into my skin, I just want to take a shower. I really don't like it. So the next one, this is another one of the, this is maybe like the fourth perfume I ever bought. This is Princess by Vera Wang, and I did buy this one purely because of the bottle. I had no idea what it smelled like when I bought it, and it's really grown on me. I love it. This is my second bottle. I've used... Um, almost half. And it comes with this adorable little crown ring lid. And this scent is so light and beautiful. It really reminds me of the Bright Crystal. I think I like it more than the Bright Crystal. It's an oriental floral fragrance. It starts with some water scents, some water lily, freshly sweet mandarin and apricot 
Then we have guava, tiara flower, tuberose with a touch of dark chocolate. And the base is lovely and powdery and has vanilla, amber and wood. So I really love this perfume. It's so nice just to wear all the time. It's another spring, summer, maybe a little bit autumn day scent. And then the last one I have is this one, which I bought in Queensland. It's Wonderstruck by Taylor Swift. I don't know if it's going to show up in the video, but it's a purple glass bottle and it's glittery. And you can see that there's, when the sun hits it, it's like gold glitter and it also really looks like like a rainbow inside of it. It comes out blue, green, yellow and then into red in the sparkles. It has these cute little charms. I love to play with. And a pearly gold lid. It's quite an opulent bottle. I've, so a lot of the gold has come off the rim, which is unfortunate. And I do love the way this smells. This is maybe the heaviest perfume I have. It's quite heavy. This is the only perfume I have that could probably pass as a night scent or a winter scent. It's quite, it's heavy but it is still really nice. It's floral and it has fruity tones on a wooden background. It has top notes of raspberry, dewberry, green tea, acacia and apple blossom. The heart has sweet vanilla along with sun-drenched honeysuckle and white hibiscus. Notes of golden amber, musk, sandalwood, and peach are in the base. So I've smelled the new version of this. It comes in a red bottle. And for me, I really do prefer this one. I can spray a little bit of it. It's just... The way it settles into my skin is amazing. I hope that's not too loud. It really settles down to become really something lovely um, that you can just wear all day and carry it into the night with you. So it's a little bit appropriate for both. And it's not too overwhelming. It won't make the people around you sick. So that's it for this collection. Hopefully once I've moved I can do a part two with my other bottle. Can you tell I do buy a lot of perfumes just for the bottles and then fall in love with the scent afterwards? It's a bit short and I hope it's okay. I'll see you next time.